All right, we've got about 30 seconds to the start of the race there. Again, Med Kofleski's last Boston, the 2014 champion, checking his watch. He says he wants to win. He says he always runs to win. Fifteen seconds now to the start of the men's race. And the men are racing for Boston, followed by the first wave of the 30,000 runners taking part in this year's Boston Marathon. This is an emotional part of the race, and it's hard not to get out in front of yourself sometimes. The crowd is there. You've waited for all of the morning to do this. You're on a downhill, and you just want to soar, and something in the back of your mind tells you, unless you're one of the elite men, you got to hold something back. <laughs> so hold your horses. You have to let you know, the emotional component of these marathons, Shalane, is huge. And it's the people who have experience of knowing how to handle those emotions, because it's easy to get ramped up, and then you go through a, and then you go through Wellesley, the scream tunnel, and have 13, and you get all ramped up again, and then you get on the hills, and the crowd makes you go nuts, and you've got to know how to manage yourself. It is sticking to your game plan, the pace that you know that you're supposed to run. It's resisting that temptation. It's so fun to run fast, right? Rip down those hills, but it really is resisting that temptation to go too fast because you want to be able to finish the marathon. I think for a lot of people, it's an accomplishment. You're a Boston Marathon finisher, so it really is. You'll pay off by resisting the temptation to go out too fast.